you can choose to live or not. Is there an option? Or what do you mean? Ah, I never made it this far. <laughs> Is there an option to live before? So you just leave by not going into the portal. See how you go into the portal every time. Oh, okay. Don't, yeah. don't go into the portal, and then when the portal closes, that'll be mission over. And um, we may need to go on though, depending on why hotfix wise, because it's it. You know, sometimes the hotfix says, "Please stay in your mission." Yeah, but we need to leave to then get out to then. Not if it. it's not if it turns around and says hotfix inbound. Please stay in your mission. That is not when you leave your mission. If it asks you to stay in your mission. You stay in the mission. Unless you want your game to just be bugged. Yeah, but you have to come out of your game to then update for that bug to be fixed. Yes, but so when, it's, when it's launching the hotfix, it asks you to stay in the mission. And then when the hotfix is dropped, it says you can leave your mission. Yeah. That's what happens every time there's a hotfix. People leave their missions and it takes about 10 reboots before they get their game back. Because they did the one thing that DE asked them not to do, which was leave the mission. <laughs> Maybe it will happen right when we have to extract. Hotfix deploying, please stay in your mission. Exactly like I said. So we may need to go into zone 9, which isn't the end of the world, because if we fail, we fail. Like, it's still going to give us all the rewards, still going to give us all the XP, it's just going to force us to leave. But I would be surprised if we failed. Is wave 9 a lot harder? Uh, I don't know. I've managed to get up to... Oh shit. That looks like a new relic. Um, I've managed to get up to zone 16 with a party. It's just the levels go up. So I think you're looking at Corpus 102 right now. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's a lot tougher. Not really, because then you load into the mission and they're like level 70. So 102 is not that much higher. Um, plus 102 Corpus. Is the equivalent of like 85 Grenier, and we had that earlier, so. Corpus are relatively easy. Okay, now we can leave. So we can leave after this, or stay till zone 8, uh, zone 10 if you want the A rotation reward. Up to you guys. Ah, uh, it's okay, we can so, do one more. Yeah, we'll do one more. Plus you'll get a pretty decent score after this. Yeah. First time doing this, I'm going to ace this. It, it has been the Volt and Saren show. Specifically the Volt show, because my will is... Mwah. Now, where's that other refugee? There's actually no enemies on the map right now. Yeah, my, my techs have gone up in damage. Because the enemy levels have gone up in damage. They've gone up. So now, my, now I'm getting like 900 techs. As opposed to the 100 I was getting earlier. And their corpus, so they're like super immune to electricity. Can you find the other super effigy? Wonderful to effigy. Don't have a clue. Yeah. What? Oh, you mean like the efficiency or? Uh, and yeah. no clue. They're just randomly on the map. It doesn't it overlap. Uh, I think it goes down to one. I found it. You found it? Nice. Ta da! Still goes to the uh, uh, efficiency. Hmm. I would have thought it would have went down to one already. I don't. I honestly don't know why the efficiency is dropping to sixty percent. Like, there's no enemies to kill.
You can only kill enemies that are like on the map. S rank after zone 9. People say ESO is difficult. It is. Still I not, we're killing level 120 corrupted now and it's still easy. Oh, this place again. I'm going full Umbra Sword. If I don't do so, I do. I deal zero damage. I'll just get over to you. CC. Yeah. Thank you. My carrier's still alive. Mine is dead. Kudos to my carrier, actually. Like, these guys are starting to do a decent amount of damage to me. And he's, he's still there. So we are extracting at this area. Hey, yeah. So just do, don't jump in the portal. Okay. If you do it by accident, it's not the end of the world. I'll fall you in, but just try not to. Sometimes it can spawn right on you, so. Ah, uh, it's good. Yeah. And just kill some enemies. Keep the efficiency up. Yeah, um, it gets a lot more difficult in terms of you have to kill faster and faster and faster to keep efficiency up. Like, we're killing close to everything on the map, and it's down to 40%. Oh, it's like... Yeah, what can you do? There's almost like a hard cap on how fast you can actually go, and how far you can go. Because you just physically can't kill enough things. That's if we complete this one, which we should. So we just do not go through the portal? Yeah, just don't go through. A plus. Kuva 4 cards. Oh, that's nice. Credits. A plus. Not even an S rank. What is that? Nope, because it wasn't that <laughs> efficient. Disappointed. And you're shame. Cool. That little shit. JJ, 969,000. Almost one me. Got, ooh, 47,000. One and a half thousand kills exact for me. 4,715. Okay, let's restart our games. Yes. I almost I like forty seven K kill is that bad or <laughs> that was awesome. I never done that before, but Ooh. I'm guessing I did the best. Okay. Oh Chrome is pretty easy to build actually. We started. Um that codex should now be updated with the relics. So if I search Chroma, then I see the Axi C3, the Lith C3, the Messio T3, and the Neo K2. Uh, and then I can look for the Gram Relics, Axi 04, Meso S8, Neo G1, and the Rubico ones, or the Lith B5, <laughs> uh, Hello. the Lith 01. Okay. Wanna, hello, you guys want to do like a wave mission and just stay in there for a while? Like a wave mission? Like something? protection, the things called like protection or something. Oh, there's, a, no, I mean, there is a form there's waves. Yeah, there's... Um, I think we're going to do some excavation <clears throat> on Earth to get some of the new relics. 
new what yeah I'm kind of new with the relics. So there's been a new frame that's just come out, Chroma Prime, um, yeah. and he's only obtainable by either paying DE a buttload of money or farming the relics and then opening them. And at uh, the same so time, we're going to get some the, more relics. And at the same time, Valkyrie and, and Prime what are relics? What are relics? Uh, think of relics ah! like a key, a key to open a mission, and then when you finish the mission, you get a reward. Based on what key or relic you put in. I gotta get into this game more. I can and at the same time, Valkyrie Prime has just been vaulted along with Nyx Prime and uh, yeah, Rona Prime with their good. respective. He doesn't understand about the Prime Vault, so you've just confused him and he's just left. <laughs> I'm just trying to like give him the full. Oh my god. Um, so, yes. I am going to take what I'm going to take. Uh, probably yeah. a wee limbo. You're gonna go as limbo. Kido. Yeah. Um, let's just keep as many digs open as possible, please. I'm going to take another weapon to level. Um, I'm yeah, I'm gonna do the same. Acorn Mayor Rock, sure. I'm gonna take my Zar. I take my loot boy so I can get a little bit more stick. cryotic. Um, have with relic farm PM or end. Yeah, literally, the Z2 is just nothing important. The only thing that's important from that is uh, Zephyr Prime Systems, and I've already built her. Okay, again, can't seem to find anyone, because straight chat is just ranchers. I'll sell my Fragor armor. Mm. Um, I, I don't know if you guys mind, but I'm specifically just going to farm Chroma. Um, obviously, like... We're relic farming, so we're gonna get the other relics as well. Oh, we can do I the same mean, and make make them ready. If you want, gonna like go for chroma more than any, more than the gram or rubico at the moment, and then once I've got that, then I'll go from go from there. So, Earth Everest, Earth excavation. Um, maybe pick any crowd control frames you've got, something like that. Oh, you know what I'm bringing. Because we want to keep as many digs open as up as once, so probably I'll take one. Will you take one? And I can yeah, take fire. A you take one too, or if there's only two up, then you can help us. Well, out. Would you like me to take a limbo? One thing that's blue. It's up to you. Um, I'm just running limbo because it means I can kind of go a little bit more AFK. Same here. Okay, in that case. Hopefully you don't have a lot of range on your limbo though. If you're taking limbo, you're not. You're taking hydro. That's okay. No, um, but know. yeah, I built my limbo for more duration than range because I built mine for duration and range. Uh, for an excavation, range is annoying. I really um, don't like limbo. More difficult. I played a lot of hours with limbo, but I don't like it. I don't particularly don't like, like limbo, limbo either. Um, I love Limbo. It's not my playstyle. I know exactly how to play him. <laughs> I know exactly how to play him too. Uh, we could do with killing that guy. Get that power shell. Okay, Mastery15 comes to Earth, he's probably farming the new relics too. Oh, I have the wrong build on. Oh, that's annoying. Never mind. I'll just ignore that. Yeah, I have the wrong Limbo build on. That's a big pain. I have like max, dura max range, but no duration. I have duration. Did someone put energy pads down? Did 
So yeah, the minute another one comes open, I will jump over to that. Um, so if someone wants to stay, I can just stay here. Make sure, just to make sure that one doesn't get destroyed. Um, it, this should be easy enough to go for like a while. Um, it should only get a bit more difficult later on. Because right now the enemies are like level 3 or something. Shouldn't have any problem one-shotting them with an unmodded weapon. <laughs> Which I have. I have a Vacor Hex that is unmodded because I forgot to change it. Like an extract after one dig. And then we're gonna do a rat share, I'm guessing? Uh, depending on whether the chroma part's common or not. Um, no, they're actually rare. Actually, well, a few of them. one's common, two are uncommon, and one part's rare. So, on some uh, of them. The common one, definitely not. Uh, the rare one definitely. The uncommon, I think if I remember rightly, the drop chances are higher if you run a rad chair than if you run an intact chair. Um, so it's probably worth making. It's probably worth doing a rad chair for them. Which we can do within the three of us actually. We can do us three and then get one random in. Yep, yeah. yeah. But yeah, before you know it, like. Within within the next hour to hour and a half, we should all have the a full Chroma Prime set. Um, and I want to actually double check whether Warframe Market supports Chroma Prime sets yet. If it does, I want to see how much people are paying for it. Chroma Prime set is available on Warframe Market for four hundred platinum at the moment. We're going for four hundred platinum. That's actually relatively cheap. What for a Chroma Prime? For our full Chroma Prime set. That's insane. That is really cheap. Um, Wait, you've got a days. Yeah, you, oh no, definitely. Um, you've got to realise that the set's just come out. Limbo, yes, for true. example, has been out for ages, and he's 100 Platinum. That's only That's four times cool. on a couple of hours after Chroma has been released. That kind of demonstrates how What easy about Valkyr Prime? Prime? That's what I want to know. That's the more important one in my eye. Is she still a hundred? I don't know. Yeah, uh, she probably is. Like her price won't have gone up. Yeah, not yet. Uh, you've got to give it about six months. But her price wasn't hundred. Like she was really cheap because of how easy she was to get. Pardon me. Thankfully, we don't have to go to um, the void like we did for Rhino and Nyx. Not anymore. Um, I don't mind just doing normal missions. I prefer when they do it like this because you can get them in Sanctuary Onslaught, Elite Sanctuary Onslaught, every normal mission, um, and Cetus Bounties. So you can farm it however you want to farm it. If you don't like going to Cetus Bounties, then don't. If you do like going to Cetus Bounties, then go and get them. Like, If you want to just do higher con for Axie Relics, which is probably our best shout rather than this guy says Xeni because you're guaranteed Axie Relics on, on round 2 and 3. Round 2 and 3 of an interception? Hmm. I feel like higher con's just better because it's infested and it's excavation and it's pretty easy. In my mind, excavations are just close to, if not the best, place to farm relics because rotations are so fast. And I'm just talking a lot, so you can tell me yes. to shut up. Uh, what did I work out? I worked something out and I can't remember what I worked out. Oh yes. Uh, if you run a rad share with people, you have a 40% chance of getting the rare power. Just in case you were wondering. Compared to 14% if you run the Radiant Relic solo. So that's why so many people do rad shares.
So 